And the reason why they're saying no is because they know if they take that number to their client, they're going to have to have an uncomfortable conversation. Everybody knows that the deal is in the follow-up. Yeah. And, you know, we are doing follow-ups every week to many agents. But what do you do when on those follow-ups you get no answers? Because in many cases, these agents, you know, you've, you've talked to them, you place your offers, they laugh at your face because of your offers, but you keep calling them and you text, keep texting them, but they don't answer. So what do you do at that point? Keep following up until they tell you to stop or track the house as well and see if, if the listing ends. At some point, they're going to get to a point where their, their listing is going to expire and your number will no longer be laughed. The reason why they're laughing at you and the reason why they're saying no is because they know if they take that number to their client, they're going to have to have an uncomfortable conversation. Yeah. And you don't know the basis in which they acquired the listing. Did they acquire the listing on predicated on a lie that they could accomplish a, a sale at a price they knew they wouldn't have been able to accomplish? Yeah. Were they were they doing what we do when we lock up stuff too high and write it right to the end of inspection period and then cancel? Is that what they're doing with their listing agreements? Very much so. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it from that perspective, and if you put yourself in the shoes of the agent, sometimes there's an embarrassment there. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and here's a quick word from our sponsor. Hey handsome, this video is brought to you by Keegley Franchise. If you wanna have a wholesale business that's as awesome as mine, because it kinda is mine, but it'll be yours, what you wanna do is click on the link in the description and figure out how you can have a conversation with somebody on my team and become a Keegley Franchise. Now stop watching me over here and watch me over there, bear. And it comes out and it gets responded to you in, as, as a ghost, as a ghosting or an ignoring or it gets presented to you as a aggression or some kind of a, you know, but at the end of the day, when a realtor has a listing that isn't selling, they know exactly why it's not selling. It's overpriced. That's what it is. We are in a market. A market is such that everything sells at a price. If you have inventory and it's not selling, then you have it priced incorrectly. It's just what it is. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't take it personal. I'd continue to follow up. I continue to track the house and just keep moving. Don't let it become a thing that where you're like, man, you know, I, I don't want to lose these relationships. Not even a relationship yet. Nothing's happened. These people are ignoring you. Mm -hmm. Do your job and follow up and carry on. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me, bitch.